Hello viewers, Six Wings here. Welcome to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 3. Uh, today I'm going to be playing as Italy from the Road to War bookmark, January 1st, 1937. And Italy is probably, it's the largest country I usually play in this game. Um, I've never actually played as Germany. I have played as France, so it's not the largest country I've played. Um, I tried to get into the Soviet Union, but it's just, there's so much with the Soviets, uh, it's just kind of daunting. Um, Italy is someone you can kind of focus on for a few very simple things, um, which may or may not prove to be simple, because first is naval supremacy in the Mediterranean. The second is North Africa. And leading up to that point, you can fight your war, your Balkan Wars to take over this region here. Um, so there is that. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Jump right onto the game. Uh, Italy does begin a war with Ethiopia, as is historical. And I'm not sure how, in this version of the game, to annex them. I want to annex them. Right, I, I would like to annex them, but I don't. I just don't know how to do that. So before I go into anything else, I'm going to start handling the war in Ethiopia. Oh, what am I doing? Ah! All right. We're going to do that by unassigning our, all of our generals. All of our generals. We're going to assign our two best generals. Uh, Messi and Balbo, down here. Batosi can take this unit. And he can take this unit. All these guys belong to this core, and we're going to take someone who's low skill, like this gentleman, but has a, actually, let's uh see if we can't find someone who is zero skill with a bunch of traits. There we go. We're going to see if he can leech some XP off of these guys, just by commanding the core that they're in. We're going to demote some people as necessary to get supply... Wow, these guys are actually too good. Destefanis and Carbani. That's right. I almost forgot they existed. So again, we're going to get somebody who's kind of low skill, but with Supply Wizard, to piggyback off of these guys. And I might as well give them the uh, these guys something to do. Graziani, jeez. Calm down, sir. You're going way overboard. All right. Let's get these guys some more supply leaders in command. Go ahead and filter by logistics wizard. So we've got Dalora, who's got another perk to him. La Furla, another perk to him. And now we're just going to pick folks. You're demoted. You're not. Um... And you're promoted. And you're promoted. So we're out of guys. So now we'll just promote on number of traits. This guy's got a lot of traits. He can be in charge. And since we're out, people who have lots of traits, now we'll just... Promote people who have traits that we want, like offensive. And commando. There we go. Alright, so that's our stuff. We're not going to really use our air force in this. Uh, we can, but and make it a little go fast go a little bit faster. But I'm I'm not going to. I'm going to send the Air Force to Rome. And we're going to commence with a general reorganization. 
once the war is over. I'm going to station the entire navy at Toronto. These guys are regulars, so we'll disband them. And everyone down here is also a regular who will be disbanded once the war is over. I'll leave him ar around for now, so they have a theater HQ that they're attached to. And I'm just going to give them a, uh, a supply wizard. It's not going to affect much, but it, it'll help some. Grab everybody else. Move them down to Rome. And that is pretty much that. Let's get our starting movements of the war taken care of. Good. There we go. All right, so that's that war. <laughs> um, there's going to be a little bit of micromanagement in the south since they do out... Well, I outnumber them, but there's a longer front to cover, and apparently I didn't know it existed before the war started because no troops are deployed there. And the loss of this territory is really not preventable. Uh, maybe it is technically, but that's not... It's not important. I'm going to set reinforcement to 5.5, 5, half an IC on reinforcement. Let's take care of some production. We need to get a couple battleships underway if we're going to have enough battleships by the uh, beginning of the war. And what are some other things that I would like to work on? Um, blah, 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 blah. Well, let's talk about our technology first, and then I'll come back to that. So, there's a lot of stuff we need to focus on. Infantry, small arms, for example. We're going to need to focus on getting this artillery all set to go. I'm not really going to worry too much about anti-aircraft. Before they changed the way it worked. Having that a little bit extra soft attack, a little bit of extra hard attack, the, def the anti-air defense from air, that was good, but now the anti-tank costs only a little bit more. Takes only a little more time. Takes less manpower. Um, and if you have air superiority, the air defense isn't really going to help you at all. Still 80% hardness, or softness. Um, and it's got the piercing. So I'm not really going to worry about anti-aircraft, although I understand its value. I'm going to be shooting for air superiority instead. Uh, what I'm going to be looking to do is put together some infantry brigades that are binary. And these are going to be useful for the Soviet front. But this anti-tank's not important now. What's important is binary brigade with artillery. That's what we're going to use to win the Balkans. Uh, I think there's maybe one, maybe two tank brigades in the entire Balkans. Um, so I'm not really concerned about motorized or tanks or any of that stuff. Motorized doesn't even have armor at low levels. I believe it gets it once you upgrade it some. I'm going to check that right now, actually. Mech. Moat. No, nope. No, so motorized isn't even armored. And we're not going to be worried about armored cars breaking us. Um, Alright, so back to tech. So this is stuff we need. We're also going to need industry. Stuff like uh, agriculture, production, and efficiency. We'll get this later. Supply production, another one that's really critical. Coal, rares, steel, anything that gives us that we can use to feed the war machine going to be really, really important. If we go to theory, this should make us happy because we're already uh, ahead of time. 
or uh, would be ahead of time were we to start researching it. We're current on those. Doctrines, we'll fix doctrines in a minute. Uh, doctrines are probably the least concerning, um, other than stuff that we need to finish that that takes forever. Stuff like Schwerpunkt and uh, Mechanized Defense. I probably, I know I'm pronouncing, I'm not even going to say, I know I'm pronouncing this wrong. I'm sorry. Um, I could call it Schwerpunkt, but that sounds even worse. So, uh, mech, motorized, cav, the cav doesn't matter, but the uh, getting our mechanized organization up is going to be important. Uh, combined arms warfare, that armored bonus plus 10% is going to be huge. So we need to get start getting working on these ASAP. But the first thing that is most important is getting an army recruited um, as cheaply and quickly as possible. And to that end... We're going to start upgrading these here. We are going to want to upgrade our armored cars because we're going to use them in North Africa. They do have some piercing attack, which is really irrelevant, like armored car piercing. One. It's really, really, really irrelevant. I mean, even cab has... I mean, my cab doctrines are pretty good. But it adds 0.75 a level. It scales, I guess, faster than some things, but not not fast as fast as infantry. So there's, there's no reason to get... The piercing, but it does come with some soft attack. And this is going to increase the, the toughness and defensiveness of it. The armor, again, is not going to be a factor. Because if we go into the production, we can see armored car armor is one. Again, the piercing on infantry is going to always stay ahead of this armored car armor, which isn't going to be concerning. But armored cars are going to be something we want, and we are going to want them to have a little bit more soft attack than they do. Um, uh, what was I just doing? What did I just add? Okay, light tanks. But more to the point, we're going to be building a bunch of armor. Um, we don't have a lot of light tanks, tank brigades now. I don't actually don't know if we have any light tank brigades now. We'll, we'll find out when we do the reorganization. But we don't really have the leadership to go heavy navy, have good infantry, have good doctrines, have good industry, have good air force and have good armor. So we're going to focus on making our what armor we can field as best as it can be, but we're not going to worry about going into medium tanks or heavy tanks, at least not yet. Uh, we will want heavy tanks by the time the war with the Soviets starts, um, or at least before that goes to on too long. Likewise, we're going to want to get the uh, anti-tank here. So our infantry are well equipped. We may not even get this far into heavy tanks. Anyway, I am yammering on a bit. So it's going to be pretty important for us to be able to have modern light cruisers, destroyers, and heavy cruisers. As well as the best battleships we can build. You notice I'm leaving out anti-aircraft because that's upgradable after construction. And I'm not going to be researching carriers at all this game. Or at least I don't intend to. If that changes, uh, well, you'll see when it does. Now, so that's going to be more important earlier. So we can start getting interceptors and getting that single-engine aircraft practical up. Let's get these small fuel tanks so we don't have to upgrade these. And I'm actually going to catapult these all the way to the top. And then just fix it in favor of the things that I think are more important than them. There we go. Oh, two, three. Alright, so I've got a lot of research projects to go, and we're going to start with everything in espionage, all 16.25 of our influence. But that's kind of the order we're going in. With that in mind, I don't want to spend IC on upgrades on divisions that I'm going to be starting building. So I'm going to build other things that I need that I'm not going to need to upgrade. These aren't going to be finished very soon, so we can actually... Um, we can start more navy production. I'm going to to that end. I'm going to need two more transports than I have right now. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry. I'm just uh, completely spacing out on what I want to do. But anyway, let's get the intelligence set up. So Europe. So we'll start with the majors. France. Excuse me, not Germany. 
the UK, and the Soviet Union. We're going to kill all of their spies. And we're going to send a lot of their stuff. A lot of stuff. We're going to protect ourselves against the spies as best we can, and put one into raising our national unity. It is high enough for every law we could possibly need. Uh, almost. So with 75-25% split into counter espionage and national unity, this will cease to be a problem for us. Um, now there's one other country that I do want to raise threat on, and that is Republican Spain. So now I'll filter it by all. There we go. Uh, I would like to... Um, Depending on when the Civil War fires, and it can fire from as early as the day you unpause, um, but if it fires late enough, I want to see if I can get a war deck in on them, take advantage of that Civil War, and seize part of that south coast there. And their uh, North African bit. I'd like to close this Gibraltar Strait as soon as the war starts, and to do that... Having all three of these would be, is a pipe dream, but Malaga and Marbella in particular. I want those. I think some of these nationalists Spain actually starts in control of. Uh, so the goal will be for the nationalists to win the war, but me to seize some of the southern coast. Uh, all in the name of helping them, of course. To throw off the... I don't, I don't have any excuse. I'm doing it because I'm a jerk. And I'm greedy. Uh, production. So, we're going to need to make up our mind on what other stuff we want. I want a naval bomber. Our uh, fighters may be a bit behind, but our bombers are all up to date. And I want to get started working on that uh, practical as soon as possible. So, I, with that said, I'm just going to put hammers into some naval bombers. Just that Those are going to be my soak for overflow hammers since these are not going to be upgraded before I finish them. These cannot be upgraded after I build them. Actually, I don't know if these can either. I think they can, but I'm not sure. So, day one, the Eugene of Savoy is going to pop out. And once we have uh, start ranking in a surplus of spies... Oh, here's one thing I forgot. I want to start selling some supplies to the Soviets and to the Americans. See if that works. We're going to want to buy coal and metal. We can start buying that now from the Germans. We'll start at 20 coal. They love us, so... So here's the Eugene of Savoy. They will give me. I will give them money for energy. I will do that. Uh, money for energy. Wow, that's kind of a lot, Germany. I don't know if I have that much money, but sure, why not? Let's find money. France, you've got some kind of overseas empire thing going on here. Let's see if I can sell them some fuel. Dang. UK, you're not swimming in resources. Sell them uh, five, six fuel a day. I hate you so much. That's fine. Money is going to run out soon. We can always sell our rares, and the countries of the world will be oh beautiful. So we've lost Rocco Latoria. I'm going to keep a close eye on my intelligence so it doesn't get away from me. That's all right. That's why we're going south instead of to it, so we don't have to deal with a river crossing penalty. Won the Battle of Tandaho. All these battles are going to end pretty quickly. I see is being wasted on probably like so. Yeah, I've got tons of stuff producing. Let's have them drive north. Drive north. Drive north. Um... I've already gotten the Soviet counter-espionage down quite a bit. 22 foreign spies last month. Purging the uh, public sector. Let's get rid of these, this guy. 
Instantaneous victory? What? Okay. What do you want? Give them fuel for money? Yes. Give them supplies for a bunch of money? Absolutely. I need that cash to... Rares for money? I actually have a lot of rares. Oh my gosh. Calm down, everyone. Finland ran out of money because they're dumb. And now we're kind of, we're positive on spies now. I'm going to build a small surplus. Probably 10 spies. That should give me enough time to react. If they start dying in droves somewhere. Alright. We've lost Baduin, that's fine. Send the infantry across the river because it will have no trouble. And I will send Messi, who is going to be the uh, my highest skill cap general. Come on. All right, I'm at 10. Time to turn that off. Let's go research. And all I want is my first 12 techs. The rest can go into diplomacy until I've built up a little bit. Making money again. Uh, but I don't have any diplo points, so it's fine. Republican Spain is at one counter espionage, so let's go ahead and start raising their threat. They're at two. I'd like to get them to one or zero. We'll slow it to a reasonable speed. Oh, they just all stopped because game is hard. I see. I understand what happened. I'll send Messi east. Hopefully that fight will last a little while. Or actually just send him north. I want Messi to level up if I can get him to. I'd really like him to level up if I can if I can get that to happen in this war. Which is why he's in command of a kind of crappy militia unit. He's still going to rock the their day, but... We have won the Battle of Bodwin. Okay, that's fine. Messi, just finish going where you're going. Yeah. War is, war is going to continue running. That's good enough for now, actually, on France. Let's start raising their threat. Normally, France is a great textile target, and I would like to use them for that purpose as well. But for now, I feel as though I need to kind of push my uh, my own way. Won the Battle of Diradawa against nobody who fought. Offer trade, will you sell me metal? No. So we're going to get back to selling supplies to the Soviets. It's actually probably wiser to just sell with the uh, Americans. Now, one thing you may notice is that we're not getting any more officers right now. Um, I don't consider that a mistake. In June, we're going to start large-scale production, and once these techs finish, finish, we're going to ramp down our research rate. Um, actually, no, we're not. We're not even. We're not at all. We're going to research the crap out of it. Um, but we are going to do runs of once all of our naval techs finish, and our army has gotten out. Once we start building massive numbers of uh, naval and air units. We're going to do a little bit of law manipulation. I forgot to switch that to minimal. Because I consider minimal training the best law. What is this HQ coming with? What is this HQ coming with? 
Oh well, whatever. So we'll continue the advance. This time Balbo will get his battle. And that is unfortunately all the time we have for today. There we go. People want to sell me metal this time. Great. So that's all the time I have for this episode. Um, hopefully I'll try and go a little bit more in-depth what I'm thinking uh, once the production window gets opened uh, in the next episode. Once the war is done and I'm not just building mostly placeholder stuff to save on IC. So, I am Six Wings. If you enjoyed the episode, please hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.